Okay, let's go over some tools in silo from the create shelf and we'll move on from there. Let's hit our space bar to go to our quad view and go to our front view. I'm going to go to create and I'm going to pick our edge tool. Our edge tool will allow me to lay down a line like this or an edge in any pattern I want. So now I've got this edge tool. You can see here we have it up here. Let's go to our object mode and select it. It's selected now. Okay, you can see it highlights yellow. Okay, so now let's go in and create and let's go let's create a circle. Okay. But instead of clicking circle, click the OPT, the option button. This will bring up our circle options where we can set how big we want it to be. If we want it filled up, we don't want it filled and we don't want to have spokes. And I'm just going to say create. The radius is good enough. And as you can see, that gives us this little circle here. What I want to do is I want to manipulate this circle around. Let me move this out of the way. Until it's right over top of this line like this. zoom in here and it's not quite there yet so let's bring it over okay now our circle right here is around our edge so now let's select our circle first select our edge second by shift clicking it go up to create and select path extrusion object and of course you can click the option to set your options I know have I don't have my ends capped and have it set to one and one I'm gonna say create and look at that now we have a geometry following our path that is what the path extrusion object does in conjunction with the edge tool so now let's go back into our front view let me show you what the polygon tool does. If I say polygon tool, two, three, four, see I can create polygons and hit return. And I can create as many as I want in any shape I want. I can even connect. You can see that highlights there. I can connect here, 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 here. And we can even connect our geometry like that. Pretty, pretty nice polygon tool. Okay, it's simple. Let's go back. So now you can see we got a polygon we created, and of course we can model that polygon any way we want. Let's get a new scene. Let's go on to our next tool. I'm going to go to create. I'm going to go to sphere. Click option. Let's bring up my sphere options, radius, sections. Everything looks good. I'm going to say create. There's my sphere. Let's scale it down. Now I'm going to go back up to create and create a circle. I'm going to click option. And this time I'm going to say fill it and give us some spokes. Let's say create. And let's make it really big. Okay. Now you can see it's filled in. It's got spokes. So I'm going to click my sphere, shift click my circle, go up to create, and select array. And look at there. We have an array. And we can select these things individually and move them, delete them. We can delete our circle. And there's our array. So let's start new. Let's lay down a cube. Here's our cube. Okay. Now let's select our cube. Let's go up to modify mirroring instance mirror toggle. Okay. So now, now we can go in here and select our points or our edges or anything we want and move it and as you can see what I do to one side it does to the other it's really really great for this is this is this kind of stuff you use when you model as you can see so you can keep everything in symmetry and keep everything aligned on both sides of your model and that's how you do instancing so let's start again I mean mirroring to mid symmetry okay let's lay down another cube and let's lay down and create another cube. Now we have two separate cubes. See, one, two. What if I want to make these the same objects? What if I want to bridge this polygon? If I want to bridge these polygons here, okay? I mean, I can always go to my weld tool or my merge tool, click merge, and then I can click and drag to the point I want to merge. 
There's always you can do it that way, okay? But there's other ways to do it too. You can see with these, there's two separate objects. Let's make these one object. So let's select them like that. Go up to modify. And um, let's see here. What tool are we looking for? We'll say merge. Now, when I click one, you see they both highlight. I've merged them into one object. And if we want to use this next tool, this is the object you want to be in. Um, if we want to bridge between here and here, you have to merge the two objects that you want to bridge between. As you can see, we did it the manual way by dragging our points. But this way, now I can go in and select this face, shift click this face, and right click and hit bridge, and boom, it bridges our polygons. Okay, let's get a new one. And let's lay down a couple spheres. Now we have our spheres collect selected. If I select combine objects, I selected them both, went up to create, went to combine objects, which is just kind of like what we did with the merge command. Now when I click one, we click both. And of course, this enables us to do our bridge command and stuff. See? Okay. Let's do a start again. Let's create another sphere. Now, this time I'm going to select the sphere. I'm going to go to create menu. I'm going to select instance. That's going to create an instance of my sphere. Now, if you notice, let's go to polygon mode here. What I do to this one happens to that one. This is kind of like a clone. Whatever you do to the original, you do to the instance. But if I want to work on the instance, you see, I really can't. So this is what instancing is. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else I want to go over in this little video just to get you started. And you can de-initiate instance, okay, if you want to. Let's get a new scene. Okay, now let's go into our front mode and let's create an edge tool. And let me go through here and create an edge real fast. This is going to be really cheap looking, so don't bust my balls about this. Because I'm just trying to demonstrate you here. Okay, now we have this little line here. Let's select polygon mode. Object mode, I'm sorry. And let's go up to create and lathe object. And look at there. We see what lathing an object has done. Or you can select it like always. Go up to create, lathe object options. And this will bring up the options. You can cap your ends, how many sections and degrees and tolerances and where you want to merge the, uh, lathe it in the world Y, world Z, local, all this good stuff. Now we have like a big top hat, <laughs> uh, Dr. Seuss top hat. But uh, this was a brief overview of some of the tools that are in the create menu down here at the bottom. Um, next, we're going to go over the modify menu with all these tools, okay? And I forgot to show you the arc. Let's show you the arc real quick. People ask, what's the arc? And if I say create option arc, and it gives me my arc options. Make it 360 degrees, sections 80, we'll say create. And now we have this little spiral. And you could make it like a spring, or we can make it 36. Let's, let's undo that. Make this 3600. And say create. Now, as you can see, we have like a spring. And we can pretty much do whatever we want to from here. So this is pretty much what goes over some of the tools on the bottom of the create shelf. Next time we're going to get into modifying and the modify menu and maybe the subdivision menu. Because to subdivide something, you just hit the C key. Ain't that that easy? C, C, C. Each time you hit the C key, it subdivides it even more. Hit the V key to unsubdivide. C subdivides, V unsubdivides. It's awesome. 
This was our first tool video for Silo. Hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. Stay tuned for our next one, and we'll go over our modify menu. Thanks for watching.